we're here at our playground project here at the church again. And yeah, after our last episode, it probably looks like we don't know what we're doing. And well, we may not, but does it matter? There's no bus to throw us in. There's a fire truck. I can throw you guys under the fire truck. So we've been getting a lot of comments on this aspect of the project. For some reason, the butterfly and the fire truck grew up. They're just a tad bit taller than what we anticipated. We don't know where the calculations went wrong, but somehow this is supposed to be at the ground level. And instead, it's two foot higher, isn't it? So a couple of solutions to this. We could try to cut this off, this pipe off, weld it down and do a bunch of work, or we could just try to dig it out and bury the concrete deeper. I think that's what we'll try. Got a preschooler waiting to try out the butterfly. Now, Noah here can get up on it. There's no problem. He's from the quality department. <laughs> He's quality, control. quality control. We really don't know if this approach is gonna work, but what we're gonna try with is using Johnny Five here in the forks. And I'm just actually gonna try to get under that concrete, pry the whole thing out. I've got Johnny Two and his backhoe here. Try to bring the backhoe in and dig it out deeper, and then drop the butterfly back in the hole. Except the butterfly is going to come off before we do all this because that little butterfly is expensive. And no, I'm not working, I'm just talking. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I think you're under it. Can you push it in? Chain that to that. On the, on the side, there's an angle looking thing that'll hold a chain link. Just drop the link right in there. Show him the chain link for the artillion, Christy. Yeah, he's got it. Okay, make sure it's tight, guys, when you put it in that, uh, yeah. There you go. That's great. Hey, tell him I'm going to be taking these forks off. I'm going to bring the bucket in there, the Johnny Five's bucket, and f use Johnny Two to fill Johnny Five's bucket with the dirt. Okay. Now, the other thing of interest, Ryan, is how it's shaped, right? Because we'll want to try to get the whole kind of the right shape. Okay, you came off good and clean. Yeah, I've got much better visibility. Yeah, you need to talk about your new cameras. Yeah, so I've got a new camera system, but I've got a camera mounted right below the top of the loader. Um, what would I call that thing? The front uh, grill guard. And by putting it there, I'm able to see down in that blind spot on my loader. I've also got a second camera right up here in the cab and a third camera in the rear. I'm all excited about this. Christy, don't help me with this hookup. I want to see if I can do this all by myself. I've never been able to do this by myself. Now, it's not positioned perfectly. If I raise it up that high, for instance, I can't see have to be pretty low so I think I may need to move that camera a little bit more into the bucket, remember that? Ready. You need the Johnny 2 over, right? Yep. I don't think I'm deep enough yet. How much more? The hardest part of this type of project is 
that the concrete won't fit perfectly now. I'm gonna have to move the tractor or something. See it, I can't get over that far to the angle. I'm gonna have to move one of these tractors. See, that's as far as I can go. You say depth-wise we're good? Depth-wise good, just take that back out a little bit. Yeah. That bottom's actually rounded. Hey, Chuck or somebody, can you tip that bucket up? It'll hold more. I think we're good. Let me clean that up with the shovel. I think we're good. You think that's good? I mean, I can take some more of that out if you want. Okay, you want to take a look in on that corner? Hey, Noah, you want to ride right now? Come on, buddy. Come on, you got a special little seat, a Noah seat right there. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cool? Now we'll probably need some of this dirt back to put on top of it, Christy, when we're done. Yeah. But I, I just thought it might as well put it over here for now. We need our bucket empty anyway uh, for the next one. Okay, so we'll go take our bucket off now. Now Noah, this is where I need the cameras because I can't I can't see those forks. See, this is what I'm looking at right here. See it? And I can't see that without the cameras. And those cameras make it so I can see exactly what I need to do. Brian okay. did the hard part. Yeah, I did. Now comes the time where their idea of hooking at the top was probably the best idea when it goes time to set it back in there. Yeah. And I don't mind doing that. I'm just afraid that I would bend those things. I wonder if it would be easier for us to do what they're suggesting, Christy. What do you think? Probably. Brian thinks so, yeah. Okay, he got one side loose. Okay. Wow, look at him turn that thing. Come in towards me. I want to go all the way in if I can. Okay, you want to go all the way in. Okay, come more, more. Now the thing is, is we really okay. kind of need to turn this a little bit. Right? <laughs> come forward. A little, oh, hold on a second. They're going to try to turn it a little bit. Okay, they're Boy, turning it. I'm nervous it. about that. Tell him that that. Be careful that that those forks could come apart. Yeah, be careful of those forks. They can yeah, spread. they can come apart. Is is it straight? Oh, okay. Yeah, they've got it pretty good. Brian wants you to come forward some. Down. Okay, I no longer have any visibility down there. Okay. He said you can let your forks down and then back out. Are you happy with it or tolerating it? I'm happy, I'm happy. with it. We're too low. <laughs> well, we said we were gonna split the difference. Remember, it's going down. Yeah. So, so. All those in favor. Uh, motion carried. We're going to try to do this particular one without taking it off. I can't see diddly yet. I need my camera a little higher, I think. Can you see Brian? I can see Brian. He wants me to point my forks down, but of course yeah. I can't see him when I do. He's putting a board under there. That's good. Come on in forward towards us. Am I as far in as I can go? You're as far in as you can go, yes. Oh, you got it. Awesome. 
pick it up a little. Yeah, there you go. It looks like it's gonna stand. Yeah. Brian, I'm waiting for you to try it out. That self-leveling bucket on Johnny 5 allows us to tilt it way back. And that allows us to put more in it even when it's low like this. See what I mean? Yeah. The non-self-leveling loaders, you can't tilt back that much at, at the ground level. It's nice to have somewhere to load the dirt so you're not just putting it on top of the mulch. Yeah, we, you know, we always wanted a solution for this. And with one tractor, that's hard to do. And even with a, one of the smaller buckets from Johnny or Johnny 2, they don't hold enough to make it worthwhile. Right. Who knows, that may be too low. It was digging easy. I got to dig more? Oh, wow. I'm digging a little different angle this time. I may have to set it back in there different. Why didn't I think of this to start with? I was trying to get out of there so I could put that dirt in on the dirt. Doggone it, I put all going back in the hole. Take another inch or so off. Probably maybe three, it's okay for yeah. a Stay there, we're gonna backfill around it. That's awesome, then it's good. That is perfect. It, it's perfect. Well, they're starting to hand shovel over there, so it's time for me to start wind jamming again. Actually, we're almost done with this project. Butterfly's already up, the fire truck is in position, and all we have to do is put a little bit more dirt in here and some mulch, and we're ready to go. So, hope you guys have enjoyed this. It's been kind of fun for me. Of course, all I've had to do is drive one of the Johnnies. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time on Tractor Time with Tim.